Good morning and welcome to the morning prayer on this beautiful Saturday morning. Yes, there's a bit of a frost, but oh, brother's sun is shining so brightly. It really does gladden the heart. This morning's prayer we dedicate in honor of Our Lady of Sorrows, the Mother of God. But we also remember very especially our beloved sisters Eleanor and Elizabeth in Philadelphia, who've been through a pretty horrendous time of late with illness. And dear Elizabeth has been there supporting our beloved sister Eleanor. So we remember these two beautiful women who've dedicated their lives to God as Franciscan sisters in our community, and we wish them well. So we begin with our Office of Lords. O oh God, come to my aid. O oh Lord, make haste and help us. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus, the Son of ransomed earth, shed in our inmost souls thy light as in spring days of fairer birth heralds each morn the doom of night. This hour of grace thou dost impart, teach us with flowing tears the stain, to cleanse from every victim heart that longs to feel love's welcome pain. The day is come, the accepted day, when grace like nature flowers anew, Trained by thy hand the surer way, rejoice we in our springtime too. Let the whole earth in worship bow, great God, before thy mercy seat, as we renewed by grace do now, with praises new thy praises greet, presence greet. And now for the first antiphon on this beautiful day, we read, it is good to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning. And now we read Psalm 91. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-stringed lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands, I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just in him, my rock, there is no wrong. Let us pray the Gloria. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is good to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning. And now, for the second antiphon, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. We have a canticle reading from the prophet Ezekiel. I will take you from the mountains, sorry, from the nations, and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. 
and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will take out of your flesh the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes. And be careful to observe my ordinances. You shall dwell in the land which I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people and I will be your God. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. And the third antiphon on the lips of children and of babes you have found praise. And our final reading this morning is from Psalm 8. Your majesty is praised above the heavens on the lips of children and of babes. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have found praise to fall your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you have arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you should care for him? You have made him little less than a god. With glory and honour you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hands, put all things under his feet. All of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. On the lips of children and of babes, you have found praise. And now we have a special reading for this Saturday morning in Lent. And it's from the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Wash, make yourselves clean, take your wrongdoing out of my sight. Cease to do evil, learn to do good, search for justice, help the oppressed, be just to the orphan, plead for the widow. Come now, let us talk this over, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, and though you are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory, it is he who will free me from the snares of the hunters. It is he who will free me from the snares of the hunters and from the evil world. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And the Benedictus Antiphon this Saturday morning, store up treasure for yourselves in heaven where there is no moth and no rust will spoil it. Wise words. And now I invite you to join me for the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our sins, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you shall become a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him. Let us reflect on those words and he will give food to the hungry. He will reach out and embrace the marginalized. 
but he will touch you and fill you with this love. And now we pray the Antiphon, the Benedictus. Store up treasures for yourselves in heaven where neither moss nor rust spoil it. And now we come to our morning intercessions. Let us give thanks always to Christ our Saviour and pray to him with confidence and the response, Lord, help us by your grace. Lord, may we keep our bodies free from sin. May the Holy Spirit dwell within us. Response, Lord, help us by your grace. Teach us to offer ourselves this morning for our fellow men and strengthen us to do your will throughout the day. Response, Lord, help us by your grace. Grant that we may hunger for the food of eternal life. Give us the bread of your word and your body. Response, Lord, help us by your grace. May your mother Mary, our lady of sorrows, the refuge of sinners intercede for us and through her prayers forgive us in your mercy. Response, Lord, help us by your grace. And now for a moment in silence, let us bring our own personal thoughts, worries or anxieties to God. <laughs> And as we reflect here in the presence of God, we remember our Blessed Lady, the Mother of God, who stood by the cross of her only Son and watched him shed his last drop of blood for our freedom. And that must have been a pretty horrendous sight as a mother having given birth to an only child, to watch them slowly slip away having endured a lingering painful death. And this was done out of love for you and me. This morning I pray especially for our dear sisters Eleanor and Elizabeth, who have taken a sabbatical of six months to allow them the opportunity to recoup their lost energies and to get their focus again because illness is debilitating and supporting someone on a one-to-one -one is equally as debilitating. So we pray for our two beloved sisters and send them our love this day. We pray for all the members of our community, past and present, and we give thanks to God for their gifting to us for our friends, our benefactors, our enemies, and all our friends on social media. We say thank you for your love and your support and your prayers today. For all our presenters, past and present, on Doves for Peace and on this channel, we say thank you. We say thank you. For all religious leaders, for all the men and women who've dedicated their lives to God, we remember them, especially those who are hurting today. We remember you, and we pray for you. So let us now pray the beautiful prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us, forgive us our failings, our indiscretions, our stupidity, the times we procrastinate, the times when we fail to listen to our heart and to your voice, for the times when we are clever, too clever for our own good, for the times when we abuse your gift. Forgive us, Lord. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of evil that seek to alienate us from your heart. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Let us pray the closing prayer. O powerful ever living God, through the intercession of Our Lady, the Mother of Sorrows, look with compassion on our frailty and for our protection. Stretch out your hand to us your strong right hand and bless all here 
and our two dear sisters, Eleanor and Elizabeth. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of Saturday morning prayer. And I see Brother Sun has just gone in for a nap. The blessing of heaven. The blessing of earth. The blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day. And on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of Brother Sun and Sister Moon, be in your hearts now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve your God that is. And as I blow out this flame, I blow the love of God. I blow the compassion of Mother Mary, our spiritual mama, to you. Amen. May the peace of all that is sacred to you reawaken in your heart today the joys of being in service to divine love. Have a beautiful day. God bless you.